road is long and it gets cold but i move on i can't let go it is a lot of violence that goes on around in the community my best friend that i grew up with had just got shot three days ago I'm going to look back, Lord willing, 20 years from now and see some of these same kids that's been in this program in positions of helping, servicing, and giving back. We begin to name ourselves or brand ourselves Innovator Academy because this is innovative. This is something that has not been done in the city of Camden or the state of New Jersey. I got left back because I missed way too many days of school in the fourth grade. Once I realized I got left back, it really, it finally hit me that what I was doing wasn't getting me nowhere in life. I had got off a of grade level during the COVID, um, COVID-19 or whatever. It was in fifth grade and yeah, it, was, it was hard. I was struggling and I just stopped doing the work. The students that we have here, a lot of the ones that have been retained, um, once or twice they are dealing with outside factors that has nothing to do with who they are as a person. I'm in awe. Some of them are going through ridiculous obstacles to get here. The Innovator Academy provides students the opportunity to think out of the box. In most traditional school settings, it's a lot of direct teaching, small group instruction, but in the Innovator Academy, the students are really guiding their own learning. This is innovative because you have a school within a school. And I think that it was so important for these students who are in the program not to feel isolated because they are behind. My favorite module in science is plants and pollination. The reason why I love it so much is because the things that we did in it were really just hands-on. A Star Academy classroom and a regular classroom are way different. The classroom is vibrant. The chairs are moving, the students are moving. It's designed also for children to collaborate. The furniture is set up so that we can pull groups, small groups, to um, do skill reinforcement and the like. So it's definitely a learning environment set up for a progression. The more people see the success stories and hear the success stories about how our young people were actually able to utilize this unique partnership to catch up and move forward, the more it will impact our, our district positively and our community. And hopefully, we will be the flagship for other communities to look at and say, hey, that worked in the city of Camden. We would love to try this in our city. The progress from when I have them in September and they're struggling to do certain activities, and then by the time it's May, they can do it with their eyes closed. It's just fantastic to see their growth. I'm doing two grades in one. It's phenomenal. It's what, three months of just seventh grade instead of my 480 days I would normally do. And then for the rest of the year, eighth grade work, it's challenging, but it gives me hope that I can do my best. I have one student because he's such a hands-on learner, the first activity that he did, he was like, I am so glad I'm here. The class was really fun today. And those are not things you normally hear in a math class. The sky is the limit. An innovator is one who innovates and just creates his or her own lane. So we are innovators.